Hi, Merry Christmas! If this is the first time visiting my channel, my name is Karen Campbell and I'm a mixed media artist and I teach both drawing tutorials and mixed media tutorials here on YouTube. It's two days after Christmas if you're watching this in real time and I just want to wish all my subscribers and new visitors a very Merry Christmas. Today is episode eight of my mixed media hamburger system series of videos that I'm doing based on my mixed media system that I use to make all of my mixed media projects. And today we're talking about layer seven. It's the very last layer of the hamburger and that is the varnish layer. Today I'm trying out Krylon matte finish, Liquitex matte varnish, Americana spray finisher, Gambar gloss, golden gloss with the UV protectant, DuraClear gloss varnish, a lean sealer matte finish, and a Mod Podge acrylic spray sealer. Ah, and I somehow forgot my favorite one, little baby one right in the middle, the Liquitex gloss varnish. I've summarized all of the products um, and it is actually coming out in my book, which is called Mixed Meteor Hamburger System. And that is now available on Amazon, believe it or not. When I started off this series, I had no culminate in a book just eight short weeks later but I have amassed so much information and so much knowledge and I just wanted to make sure I wrote it all down and put it all out there for you guys to have that resource for whenever you need it and the whole book lays out my entire hamburger system from start to finish so you can make insanely awesome mixed media art projects last week's episode you saw the finishing of this product and i have since sealed her in one of the products i'm about to demo for you right now so hold on to your hats and let's test out some finishes and varnishes so i tested out five different liquid varnishes and then I also tested four spray varnishes. So all of these can be used as the very final layer. Now before I get testing, I just really need to go over the fact that finishes are actually super important for a lot of different reasons. One, it can make sure that your journal pages don't stick together. It's huge for art journalers. Number two, if you're a fine artist or you're a mixed media artist or an artist of any kind creating works, you wanna make sure that your final, your work and your painting layers are protected. And the only thing that's gonna give your paintings protection is not the final sealer layer, which is layer six of my mixed media hamburger system, it's this final varnish layer. In Historically speaking, the varnish is actually removable. So if you go to restore a painting, say in a hundred years, the way that that's done is they remove, chemically remove the varnish and then they can go in and actually keep working or touching up the acrylic layers or the oil layers underneath. So there's actually quite a few different reasons that varnishes are so important. They can also give added UV protection, um, keeps dust from settling into your, to your paints. There's a lot of reasons. So I do highly recommend that you use them. This was an interesting test. This was a matte varnish over a really glossy project. And as you saw there, that matte Liquitex gloss varnish, interestingly, even though it was matte and I put it over a super glossy sealer, that was that red vase that you just saw, it's so weird is it didn't actually turn that vase to be matte again, which I thought was highly unusual. And then the first uh, example that you saw, and I'll show it again right now, is actually a glossy underlayer. And I put the Krylon matte finish spray on top and it became super matte. So clearly all of these products are not created equal for better or for worse, but it's important to understand that each product has its own personality. So we're gonna kind of um, go through each one right now. This is my favorite product. I've been using this for about 10 years. It's just a very basic um, acrylic spray sealer from Deco Arts by Americana. You can find it and it is matte and I like it because it is matte. Um, and it just is, I use this in all of my journal pages, all of my journal pages. And I have a little fun test that I'll share with you on how well it works. All right, the very last layer of the hamburger is layer seven. And I wanted to show you something. This is an art journal that I had sent uh, off to Stampington and Company for publishing. So my artwork, this art journal that I sent them was featured in the fall issue of Art Journaling Magazine. And they just mailed it back to me. Now I get 
emails all the time from people that hate Mod Podge saying every time I use this, it gets really sticky. And then I tell them to make sure you use an acrylic safe spray sealer on top. And then they're like, you're saying Mod Podge wrong. And then I'm saying I'm not. And then they tell me that they hate it, but I, I, I really do use it. Okay, so this is my art journal that I mailed off to them. And I spray, I do my hamburger system on almost all of my projects. And then I spray my pages. So this has been wrapped up. They've had it for months. I think I sent this off in June or July, and it's December. So no one's like opening these pages. It's been in all sorts of weather and storage facilities. And I just want to show you that my pages do not stick. Okay. Same exact system. No stick. Okay. I, this is for real. I just had to prove this to you guys because I get this all the time. Okay, this is like an entire, like see how shiny it is? Did you hear anything? No. Okay, I obviously ramble on and on about it, but it's just a really important to know that there is a cure for your sticky art journal pages and that you t can totally use Mod Podge in your journals if you want to, if you like it, and it's not going to be detrimental to your art journals. So now moving on, the next product we're going to be testing is the Gem Var Gloss. Um, the cool thing about this, um, all of the acrylic spray sealers are very stinky. Some are more stinky than others. Um, the acrylic ones aren't as bad as the oil-based ones are really noxious. But this is a cool product because it's actually totally odorless. It goes on almost like water, which I found to be super interesting. The con of this product is actually it has a really long drying time. All the other products, all of them, all eight of them dried in minutes. And this one took actually a few hours. So this is not going to be your go to for your art journal pages. I don't think it will keep it from sticking. And I did try all of these products with my art journal pages as well, because that's very important to me because I do a lot of art journaling. Just suffice it to say, in a nutshell, all the sprays are great for journaling and all the, basically the brush-ons are not, just as a rule of thumb. So you can see me, um, all of these pages are coated with gesso, so they have an acrylic base layer already, um, and I'm just testing them, all of them. And it, basically what I just told you is true, all pretty much if it's an acrylic spray sealer in a can, just read your labels, you're gonna be fine. Keep the brush on ones for your canvases, um, your wood projects, your craft projects, if you're painting any furniture. Some of them are appropriate for indoor outdoor use, some of them are just indoor. So just read your labels, do your research, and I will help you compile all this information. Um, the next product I'm using is Golden Gloss Polymer Varnish, and it has um, like a UV protected in it as well. Well. So the cool thing about this that I liked is it did not have an odor and it's also a gel. It was the only one um, that wasn't liquid. All the other sort of varnishes that come in a bottle are really, really liquidy. This one has kind of a cool gel consistency. So the application was a little bit more controlled because it doesn't just like, you know, drip everywhere. So that I found kind of interesting. Um, and just FYI, in my book that's being released, um, actually just came out last week, my mixed media hamburger system, I actually made a chart of um, basically the different features of each of these products. So you don't have to kind of remember everything I'm saying. It just has it all compiled into two pages where you can do a quick look and just see like what are your priorities is it that something has uv protectant is it that's gonna long last is or is it a more of an art journaling issue i um, mean it kind of breaks them down the pros and cons of each one and here's what they look like but overall i actually really like that the fact that this was a gel product and this was put over a matte Mod Podge and it just keeps like the nice sheen. I do also think that the brush on products do a better job at like um, accentuating and bringing out the real beauty of the paint. This is the Liquitex Gloss Varnish 
And this one um, has no odor either. I do have to say that most of the brush on wands don't have the odor the way, I think I already said that, a way that the sprays do. Um, this is a great project product, and this is actually my favorite one of all the ones that I tested, of all of these. Um, I think the Americana Spray Sealer that I already <laughs> went off on is my favorite spray. This one by far is my favorite brush on varnish. Um, I felt like it really, brought out the colors in the of the of my piece like when I put it on it was a really noticeable different they became more vibrant and more bright um, and it dries super quickly which I also really liked you know Liquitex is a fantastic brand um, it's a fine art brand you can trust all of their products to be just top-notch I talk about that um, in layer three and if for those that have my nine page PDF that's also you can get that from me for free. If you want, just leave a comment below and I can hand you that. It has a bunch of the brand product information on it, um, which is also included in the book. I, I, I reiterated what's on those sheets in the book for publication as well. This one had the, um, this is the Mod Podge Acrylic Spray Sealer. I'd never tried, I always wanted to. And it basically gave a really nice uniform finish. It was very similar to um, my acrylic spray sealer, pretty much the same project product as far as I could tell. Um, and then this is the project that I finished in last week's episode, episode seven of the hamburger system, which is layer six, which is all about, or layer five and six, which is all about painting with your pit pens. And I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like um, to apply. I am applying, like I just said, was just showing you the Liquitex gloss varnish. And you can really see as I'm brushing it on, just the colors really came to life. And I don't have that experience with anything. Look at the difference. You just see how it just got brighter? Like the contrast in the colors just, um, Oh, just don't even know how to describe it. They just really punched up everything in kind of the best way possible. It's like everything was brighter and lighter and it's just gorgeous. So it's kind of muted. Uh, I have Mod Podge on there before, which is I never thought was dull until I applied this gloss varnish. And then I really, really saw the difference. So I'm super happy. I didn't own this product before I started filming the hamburger video series. I'm so happy. I'm so grateful that I decided to do this series. I'm grateful for my audience because it was you guys and my subscribers who said, yes, we're learning so much. We're really enjoying this. Um, if I hadn't gotten your feedback, I would have just like, you know, just jumped to the next whatever random thing I felt like talking about. This hamburger series has been super educational, not only for you guys and my students at Awesome Art School and in my mixed media society over there. And by the way, if you're not a member, come on over and join me, awesomeartschool.com. Thank you so much. It's where like we get real in depth like every single month with new projects. <clears throat> Shameless plug right there, but seriously, there's so much goodness going on. Why wouldn't I want to be inviting you into my favorite place uh, of all to hang out? So I love how this gloss accentuates all the collage I have underneath it. I just, it, it, it's my favorite. So then I moved over to the Deco Art um, DuraClear gloss varnish. I wanted to compare, this is a, Deco Art is more of a, a craft grade versus the fine art grade of the Liquitex. Um, and it, it was super fast drawing, which I thought was a huge plus. It has a medium odor. It was okay. It, it didn't do to the colors the what the Liquitex gloss was doing to the colors. So I felt a little bit bad for this product. Oh, I'm smelling it there. Um, it just didn't, it didn't pack the same punch. I'm sure it's cheaper because it's a different grade project like we just talked about. Um, but it was fine. Like if, if you don't have a huge budget and you can afford this, it's a very, it's a quality product. There's nothing wrong with it. I just felt like everything after the <laughs> Liquitex gloss varnish was just a little sad, if you know what I mean. And then the last thing I tested was this spray acrylic sealer from uh, Aline's. This was pretty glossy actually for a matte, which is one of the reasons I don't recommend it to spray. It's the only one that I don't recommend. And here's a quick peek at the sheets that you can find in the public published 
book of the hamburger mixed media system just so you know how I kind of compiled all the information and for the new year I have a very exciting in-depth tutorial on how to paint with inks that's coming up next week make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out thanks so much for watching go ahead and push the link for the hamburger system series if you have no idea if this is the first time and you're wondering what the heck is she keep talking about you can go ahead and click that link not to be confused with Jamie's head and then if you want uh, access to some more fun mixed media tutorials you can go ahead and push that link right there and I will see you next week.